I'm taking over. I'm getting everything possible that there is to get every single belt, every soul that there is to snatch up. I'm taking it with me. In an organization as competitive as the UFC, it's no surprise that a UFC belt can often be difficult to hold on to. And as mixed martial arts continues to grow, it's only natural that talented fighters will continue to climb their way up the rankings and into title contention. While some contenders end up falling short on the big stage, there are others who are able to justify the hype and eventually become world champions. So for this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the most talented prospects in the UFC and going over a list of fighters that we feel have the potential to capture a world title. As always, if you guys enjoy this video, then please be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to our channel. Now, without further ado, and ranked in no particular order, let's take a look at 10 UFC fighters who could become future world champions. Number 10. Jorge Masvidal Jorge Gamebred Masvidal has come a long way for someone who began their fighting journey in the streets of Miami, Florida. As an MMA veteran with 48 fights to his credit, Masvidal's title shot has been a long time coming. While Masvidal has unfortunately gone through a few rough patches, the year of 2019 saw him resurrect his career in stunning fashion, as he became one of the most iconic fighters in the UFC today. What started with a KO win over top contender Darren Till was followed up by the flying knee heard around the world, when Masvidal silenced the undefeated Ben Askren with a record-breaking 5-second knockout. And closing out the year with a victory over Nate Diaz to win the BMF title was just the icing on top of the cake. After coming to a crossroad roughly two years ago, Jorge Masvidal now heads into 2020 as one of the most intriguing prospects of the year. Currently, Masvidal is ranked number 3 at welterweight. This puts him right behind Colby Covington and Tyron Woodley, both of whom lost to welterweight champion Kamaru Usman in 2019. So there's no doubt that Kamaru Usman could present some difficult challenges for Masvidal. However, based on what we've seen, it's undeniable that Masvidal has a real shot at becoming a world champion. Number 9. Francis Ngannou There was once a time where heavyweight powerhouse Francis Ngannou was set to become the first ever African UFC champion in 2018. At the time, he was undefeated in the UFC and had finished all of his opponents inside two rounds. But he was in for a rude awakening at UFC 220 when heavyweight champion Stipe Miocic put an end to his 10-fight winning streak. Despite the upset loss, it was a great learning experience for Ngannou, who is still on the hunt for UFC gold. While the Predator may have lost his next fight to Derek Lewis, he soon followed that up with three knockout victories in a row, most notably against former champions Cain Velasquez and Junior Dos Santos. Not only has he finished his last three opponents in dramatic fashion, but it's only taken him a combined total of 2 minutes and 22 seconds. It's clear that Francis Ngannou wasn't quite ready to face Stipe Miocic back in 2018. However, his growth has been drastic since then, and he remains keen to test himself in a potential rematch. And being the hardest hitter inside the UFC certainly doesn't hurt his chances of winning. Number 8. Dominic Reyes for a moment, it looked as if Dominic the Devastator Reyes was finally going to be the man to put an end to light heavyweight champion John Jones' reign of dominance. When the two faced off at UFC 247, Reyes appeared to have won three out of the five rounds and looked well on his way to earning a unanimous win. Instead, fans were left scratching their head as Jones not only won the fight on all three scorecards, but won four out of five rounds on one sheet turned in by the ringside judges. The result left many feeling like Reyes had been robbed of a hard-earned victory, and it was a frustrating setback for Reyes who's been calling for a rematch ever since. But bringing a champion like Jones to the brink of defeat is still a remarkable accomplishment. Prior to his fight at UFC 247, Reyes was riding an undefeated 12-fight winning streak, with 9 of those victories coming by way of stoppage. Reyes is still young in his career, and has already proven he has the tools to become a champion. For now though, only time will tell if the number one ranked light heavyweight will get a second chance to prove it. Number 7. Justin Gaethje Justin the Highlight Gaethje has been long seen as a potential title prospect. As of right now, Gaethje's record stands at an impressive 21-2, with 18 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Despite his elite wrestling background, the former Division 1 All-American rarely looks for takedowns, and has made a name for himself as one of the sport's most feared strikers. Gaethje's initial arrival in the UFC was one of the most anticipated in recent memory, as he entered the promotion as a former World Series of Fighting champion, with an undefeated record of 17-0. He also came in with a reputation for putting on exciting fights, 
The highlight delivered on that reputation when he secured a sensational second round knockout of Michael Johnson in 2017. Although that momentum came to a halt after consecutive losses to Eddie Alvarez and Dustin Poirier, Gaethje soon returned to form. Three first round knockouts over James Vick, Edson Barboza and Donald Cerrone catapulted Gaethje right back into title contention. And now the number four ranked lightweight has found himself facing off against Tony Ferguson for the interim title. Whether his skill set will be enough to overcome the likes of Tony Ferguson and Habib Nurmagomedov remains to be seen, but Gaethje's knockout power and wrestling pedigree make him a serious challenge. Number 6. Paulo Costa The eraser of Paulo Costa is a young up-and-comer, who has quickly proven himself to be one of the most promising contenders in the UFC's middleweight division. As of right now, Paulo Costa remains undefeated, holding a perfect record of 13-0. His most notable victory came against former title challenger Yoa Romero, where Costa won a unanimous decision in a hard-fought three-round war. Not only does the Brazilian standout have a flawless resume, he has also finished all but one of his opponents, which of course happened to be the Soldier of God back at UFC 241. Besides that, Paulo Costa has never been to the judges' scorecards, and has broken down each of his opponents inside two rounds. So far, he has secured four knockout victories out of his five UFC fights putting away standouts like Johnny Hendricks and Uriah Hall. Since his professional debut in 2012, Paulo Costa has run through the competition in convincing fashion. Unfortunately, a nagging bicep injury temporarily prevented him from challenging Israel Adesanya for the middleweight belt. However, now that he's clear to return, I'm sure we'll all be eager to see them settle their business inside the cage. And if his current body of work is any indication, then he has a reasonable chance of dethroning the middleweight champ. Number 5 Leon Edwards Over the past few years, the number 4 ranked Leon Edwards has really emerged as one of the top contenders, and perhaps a future champion in the welterweight division. Fighting out of Birmingham, England, the British fighter holds a respectable 18-3 record overall and is 10-2 inside the UFC. Over the past four years, Leon Edwards has quietly compiled an eight-fight winning streak that dates back to 2016, including victories over Gunnar Nelson and Donald Cerrone. Having not lost a fight since dropping a unanimous decision to now welterweight champion Kamaru Usman back in December of 2015. Since then, he's run through the competition in dominant fashion and proved that he's a worthy contender. Edwards most recently defeated former UFC champion Rafael de Sanos in the main event of UFC on ESPN4 and has been looking for the chance to compete for the title ever since. While Edwards was briefly linked to a number one contender fight with ex-champ Tyron Woodley, the bout was ultimately cancelled due to the global pandemic. Leon Edwards is someone who truly believes he is the best in the world and all he is looking for now is the chance to prove it. Number 4. Peter Yarn While Habib Nurmagomedov may be the most popular Russian fighter in the UFC today, there's another fellow Russian who started to gain some serious recognition. That man is Peter No Mercy Yarn. So far, the number 3 ranked bantamweight has yet to taste defeat inside the octagon. While his overall record currently stands at 14-1, his UFC record is a flawless 6-0. So far, he's blown through the competition, winning every fight outright either via stoppage or unanimous decision. Surprisingly, it actually took him about 5 years before earning his chance to fight for the UFC, going 8-1 in his regional circuits between 2013 and 2017. But when he did finally get the call to compete in the the world's largest MMA promotion, well, he certainly made the most of it. Within one calendar year, he defeated four opponents in a row, which included a win over former title challenger John Dodson. In 2019, he defeated Jimmy Rivera and proceeded to earn a performance of the night knockout over Uriah Faber this past December. In the span of about 18 months, the talented striker has compiled a six-fight winning streak and put himself right into the title mix. His advantage in height and length, combined with his technique and power, is a great recipe for a future champion. Number 3. Zabit Magomed Sharipov Of all the fighters on this list, there are perhaps none who have been quite as hyped as Russia's own Zabit Magomed Sharipov. Coming straight out of Dagestan, the towering 6 foot 1 featherweight is one of the most talented fighters in the world and has long been viewed as a future champion. What makes Zabit so intriguing is his diverse skill set. An exciting and flashy striker as well as an equally talented grappler, he surprisingly lacks any weakness to speak of. 
So Pete has remained undefeated in the UFC and is 17-1 overall. And since winning his UFC debut back in 2017, Sabit has won six straight fights inside the octagon, with half of them coming by way of submission. And now, with his latest victory coming against rising talent Calvin Cater in November of 2019, the number three ranked featherweight will be looking to face someone in the top five. Based on what we've seen so far, Zabit definitely has the toolbox to compete against the best in his division. For now though, all he's missing is the opportunity. Similar to Habib, it wouldn't be a surprise to see Zabit become a household name within the next few years. Number 2. Aljamain Sterling The bantamweight division has no shortage of top contenders, and one of them happens to be Long Island's Aljamain the Funkmaster Sterling. Prior to entering the UFC, Aljamain Sterling was a former Ring of Combat champion, as well as a Cage Fury fighting champion. So naturally, he hopes to one day add a UFC belt to that collection. Since 2017, the number two ranked bantamweight has won four consecutive fights, holding an 18-3 record overall. Unfortunately, Sterling has had a few setbacks on his road to a title shot, with his initial four-fight winning streak inside the UFC snapped away after losing to Brian Caraway in 2016. Sterling then proceeded to go 2-1 before suffering another setback loss, this time to Marlon Moraes. Fortunately, Sterling had rebounded nicely since his last defeat. Since then, he's compiled a four-bout winning streak that includes victories over Jimmy Rivera, Cody Stammen and Pedro Munoz. While the UFC Bantamweight Championship has changed hands several times during the years, we think it's fair to say that there's a good shot it could wind up in the grasp of Sterling. Number 1. Tony Ferguson Number one lightweight contender Tony Ferguson is easily the best fighter in the UFC who isn't a champion. Tony originally won the interim title against Kevin Lee at UFC 216, but was eventually stripped due to injury. Since then, Tony has been fighting to reclaim the belt he believes is rightfully his. Tony Ferguson is unbeaten in 12 straight bouts, dating all the way back to 2013. He has a 25-3 record and holds victories over the likes of Rafael dos Anjos, Anthony Pettis and Donald Cerrone. Along that way, Tony has received several title shot opportunities. Yet, for reasons outside of his control, they always seem to fall apart. Take UFC 249 for example. Tony was originally scheduled to compete with Habib Namagamadoff at this event. However, due to restrictions from the pandemic, Habib was unable to travel to the event and the fight was scrapped. This was unfortunately the fifth time a fight between the pair had been cancelled. Habib's removal has now left Tony Ferguson set to fight Justin Gaethje for the interim lightweight title on May the 9th. This puts Tony on track to become the only fighter in history to become a two-time interim champion. So if Tony can get past Gaethje, it's unquestionable that a fight with Habib needs to happen. He obviously has the skills to become a great champion, but all that's needed is for the two to actually show up. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to our channel. Apart from that, thanks so much for watching guys, and we'll see you on the next video.